These are the best highlights from all the matches of the day during the 2024 LCK Summer Split. They can be parts of the back, and so far, as you mentioned, hasn't looked great for him. I don't know if his passive is still down. Otherwise, they might look for a play towards I top. Think so. A uh, big thing here is that Viper and Delight have set up a free. Oh no! Not, not, not the face check! Not the face check, Doran! Not this time, as he is going to go into the ult. But there's three people here. His first blood for Kingen, and just like that, he is dead. Oh, Doran, you're a bit of a Rome squad coming in here onto Zeka. We already have the stun on the rocks. And Zeka with flash available as Kingen going to... Oh, God, he's just going to push him away. And Zeka just walking this one off. But there's four people here. And everybody's going to get in there and take him down as they finally get rid of that pesky Tristana. Tristana notoriously slippery there. Zeka... Able. I didn't get early on in a split. It, it can be really nice to just uh, be able to get consistent early leads and just get ahead of your opponents where things might be a little bit rusty on both sides. As now we still have this TP. pressure, but now a TP coming in. Viper is in a lot of trouble as he is going to flash over the wall. He does use this barrier as well, but there's not a lot of places for him to go. He's getting poked down, and there is the knockup as Viper will go down. Delight's going in, trying to peel for the team, but now he's got a flash out as well. And maybe he saves the rest of his team, but this is still a huge win for DK. Two of Vi and Rakan. You need to play very respectful. If you ever make a misstep, as uh, uh of that. Yeah, speaking of which, I mean, they're just going to flash on him here, and they have so much CC. Zika just flashes away, though, but aiming, getting on in there, the double knockup from the side of Showmaker, and now, DK, they finally get that pesky Tristana again on top of a turret, and DK are running away with this first one. Now we got the Impale coming in, as Viper does have Showmaker on him as well. Gets knocked into the he wall. He doesn't get the back in the air, and this is... Just so sad for the Kalista in this game. And a high speed sequence. You're playing Kalista into Rakan, Vi, mm. Skarner, and Talia. Like that's that's not a that's not a good time. Yeah, you don't get to play the game. And now, speaking of which, they try to rush out of the Rift Herald, and now Doran's just dead. I mean, he might go down to his passive here, but now you're down to Zach. The Zach isn't doing anything at this point in time. DK's still going to be respectful, but here Hang comes Skarner. He's going through the wall. Can you get away from this guy? Is this going to knock the Leona into this one? The Light knows he's dead. He goes in, accepts his fate, and D plus Kia, 7-0 to zero right now, totally owning this first game. Big thing again here for DK as well. Huh. Well, they do have King in coming in from behind. They should know he is around. They got a ward down to spot him. As now Viper with the Mega Cone making his way over. Doran has to hop away. Oh, kind of a precarious situation for Homolite Esports as they have grouped up as a team. An alt sent in. Delight not going to do much. And King is still threatening on the back line. Now Peanut is going to be able to land this smite. But what does this fight look like as Viper not able to play the game once again? Delight is already down. And this might just be a route. Everybody on the side of Homolite Esports just trying to run away from the side of T plus Kia. Even the a wall coming in from the side of Showmaker. He wants more and he wins. Will have more as Tina doesn't do anything. It is a clean ace that comes down 17 minutes into the game. DK! Yeah, they lose the dragon, but I'm telling you, they do not care. Pressure, but they weren't able to capitalize on it at all. So once you kind of lose a lot of that power from what you were drafting, it just feels bad. As now Lucid is going in. He got engaged on, but he doesn't care. He wants more blood. And it's just a lackluster move from Homolite Esports, who don't have a single kill yet in this first game. Still nothing for Humble Life. The Drakes, yeah, there, there's something. But I mean. it's, it, it doesn't mean that much in the, in the grand scheme of things. Even if you end up getting the soul somehow, you're going to be at a... He has flash. Like, he has flash. Oh, he knows. He has, there's no point. Well, so, there's 275. So what what I'm wondering is, yeah, kill what is what is that <laughs> the kill goal for Hanwha? Wait, but they have zero kills. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Um. Anyway, <laughs> Zeka, he is going to get stunned up here, and you know that Showmaker, he wants more. He's having the game of his life, and Viper is just so sad in this game. He never got to play for even a single second. The light's already laughing. Oh, they on know. The camera. They know. They they know this game is over. For Hanwha Life, you're going to be able to play on blue side. You're probably going to think twice about leaving open uh, leaving open Skarner for the rest of the series. And I don't think this is going to throw them off too much. 
But this people's key are just kind of bopping them over their head with a giant sledgehammer. And, um, yeah, they get the kills, they get the Baron 24 minutes in. Don't need the Zyra jungle in this case. Is now, oh god, Showmaker just flashing on in. Gonna take down Viper as well. He's gonna be gone, and maybe because Deepo Skia just tried to end it here. I mean, they are so far ahead, they have the power, and Kingen's not even there. Doesn't have TP, he's just bullying Doran in the bottom lane, as he has been all game. Oh, oh. oh well, that feels bad. <laughs> All right, Delight. Okay, come on. <laughs> Delight. It's over. <laughs> hey, he got on top of Showman. Nice try, nice try. It doesn't okay. matter, but he did it. He did it, Velvas. Good combo, good combo. Nice effort. Um, Kingen is still chasing him. What is happening? Okay, did they go too far? Zeka is full health. The flash on in, and in mid ultimate, and the knockup comes in. And that'll put the nail in the coffin on this game. I mean, as another knockup is gonna come in, Doran flashing on in, does knock them together, but a double knockup comes in now. Got a kill! And Skarner just got here. As yes, they did get the kill onto the support who has Warmogs. Okay, <laughs> the game is finally over. 22 kills to one. D plus Kia come in and smash Humble AP Sports in game number one. because you will be going for, you know, normal AD items, your arrows is going to be on a much higher cooldown than it would otherwise be. be a problem with the Kha'Zix specifically, is that TF's ultimate is really obnoxious for you to play into in mid to late game team fights. where I think Kha'Zix normally, obviously, is an assassin that skills super well, as we do have a play here. Zeka does have flash, but he's just being CC'd to death. I don't think he's even going to use it. And down he goes. Kellen will get first blood, unfortunately for DK, but it's still a win to take him down. A flash coming down here. Peanut has to get away. King and thinking about getting on in there. He's going to flash forward with the gold card. Oh! And a follow-up comes in from Kellen, and that will barely be enough, although this is Skarner in the top lane, so yeah, goodbye Lucid. Um, Skarner just doing Skarner things. DK very flashy with their play and still a big win for them. Still a big win for DK as yeah, you say that. King and, and Lucid specifically. I do want to give credit though, again for Kellen. Being very active on this map, first gets the play towards Zekka, as we do have uh, King and maybe in some trouble here. Oh, pretty low on mana is Doran, but... Oh boy, here we go again. Flash knocked into the wall, and Peanuts right there, able to close the distance incredibly fast on that Kha'Zix. Some trading here in mid, but yeah, at least Hamalei Feesports able to trade back here early on and not sit on zero kills for the entirety of the early game, as we saw in game number one. And now Peanut is going to be able to roll that into some Void Grubs. That's how it works. He uh, does need, you know, he is kind of a newly uh, revamped champ, so I think he does need, like, at least seven or eight ways to CC the enemies. Fair enough. Honestly. Like, you does know, he die here? I don't know if he does. I don't think so. Uh, but let's see. He's going to get stunned up mid-dash, and now uh, he doesn't have his flash, and he will, in fact, go down, so... All of us crying about the Skarner, it's still going to be a 2v1 and a nice gank that does come in, and DK very proactive here in this early game. And First rate being taken at 11 minutes, pretty slow. Is, I think, decently costly Showmaker ensuring that he can actually... down. And the Rift Herald is being eyed menacingly this by Homolite Esports. Sports. Most sums up, Lusa doesn't have his flash. Doran will have his available shortly, but outside of that, a lot of cooldowns available here. I wonder, does DK actually want to go for it? Looks like they might instead just opt to shove. Maybe set up some priority surrounding the Drake as well. He's going to give over the Herald to Hanwha. Well, they know that the soul will be Chemtech with Ox on the desk. Of so, course. Uh, we'll see if they do prio that. As aiming, nice little dodge there. He still has his cleanse, but um, in a bit of trouble. He's going to cleanse the stun from dashing over the rocks. And that does save him in this case, so it's very important that he dodged the arrow, otherwise he wouldn't have the cleanse for the rocks and he would have died. As we do see, Humble Life turning that play, even though they don't get the kill on aiming, into an immediate win. Get the first turret blood here. Showmaker will be able to answer. But that is going to be it as the rotation herald coming through to set up a dragon here. Do you think DK want to try and play for this, though? They have a decent amount of vision and they have TF, so can take control back, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to risk it and use the gold that they got from the turret instead. And it's a Mountain Soul. kind of what the Kha'Zix is used for with that first item, just clearing out all the wards. He's also got the scanner. He's also very fast with the brushes. As uh, aiming 
has found delight, and he has found a TP coming in here, and he has found his own death. So nice little capitalization, delight hanging out in the jungle, and we'll take him down. As now Kellen might be in a bit of trouble as well. We have the flash of the impale, and he will be able to get away. Very telling that Luke for Peanut as well. Aiming sitting on double. Light in a item. very awkward spot here. I mean, he's just by himself trying to get vision or something. Nearly dies. Has to flash away. Didn't have his unbreakable will at that moment in time. So no flash on that one. As now Zoomaker has to flash himself away from the Impale. But now that's not going to be available here for this Drake. And now D plus Kia should be able to take it down. Hummel AP Sports say, never mind. That was weird. Let's, <laughs> let's just not do anything after that. Not going to be getting a fight here. As a, their, their arrow is going to come in, but I, I don't think they're actually nice. looking. Uh, Zekka instead just using his free grunt to push here towards the top side of the map. But with that, summoners are being traded, right? Doran has to fly. Push. But He's been on a lot of adventures. Okay, they're going to spot him here. Delight's in a lot of trouble. He does have his unbreakable will. And he is going to try to delay this now. Kellen also supremely tanky himself. And now TP coming in in the big sweep. It's going to get Zekka. But now the Impel too. And that might just turn it around here for Hummel and Esports. They get that kill on the Lucid as well. And we see Showmaker isolated. Viper pretty low. Eats a gold card. King is getting in there. And the damage out of Showmaker and King. And it's not going to be enough with Peanut coming in. This should be a wipe in favor of how well Hippie Sports Doran still above half health and still totally fine in ace for how well Hippie Sports. A lot of the damage dealers being gone, but the only one that they can consistently find is Delight, who, FYI, hasn't died yet. Uh, Doran's getting in there. He is going to be stunned up by Kellen, which is very nice, but Showmaker going to eat an arrow, and now he is so dead. There is no hope. Although, no, oh, he's going to go down. Five members here. The entire team just leaving him to go down as Torin's still charging on in. He is going to catch Kellen, but that is a Leona. Might be trying to force the flash here, and they will be able to do that. So Amelie Feastport's taking a decent amount of poke damage. Just a bit. From Showmaker and aiming. Lucid now just going to face check into this Kha'Zix, and he's in a bit of trouble. Nice knockup comes in. The arrow will be dodged, but Lucid's still in a lot of trouble. Kellen desperately trying to deal for him, and somehow he's still alive, but finally goes down as Zekka is traded back, but it's a two for one still in favor of Hamalai Esports. And now maybe they set their sights on that Baron. Especially with no jungler being available. DK doesn't have a front line. Big Hamalai feeling good about their chances here. Doran and Delight still full health. Yep, Impale available. Flash available for Delight. Uh, a lot of tools to try to turn this one, which they will try to do. Let's see if they can get through the Skarner health bar as Flash E into the wall. But this Baron is 100% HLE showmaker. Knocked up, and how many esports thinking about going in there once again? A lot of damage done by Showmaker, but they already got the prize on his ult, so yeah. not going to be feeling too bad about that one. Doran? Okay, they're trying to kill the Skarner. Um, Still okay. trying. They almost got through the shield, guys. They almost got the shield. Okay, the damage goes in on the King, and the Impale is huge. As Skarner is always able to turn it around so, so quickly. Still getting to work here on the Lucid. They send it for one final attempt to try to catch Doran off guard. They get the kill on the Viper, but that's going to be it. Hamalei Esports have run away with this game as these two tanky boys just sprinting at the Corky, who cannot do much at all. A TP in the top lane as they're looking to try to end it through that push. Lucid, three levels down. I don't think he's going to do a whole lot. Tries to get an interrupt on Zekka. Doesn't end up mattering. Zekka will just jump off, but it looks like we are going to a game number three, Valdez. <laughs> hey, it's just Garner. He's just fine. It's, uh, yeah. I just thought maybe he would knock a, a thing like that. As aiming is in a lot of trouble, he'll be burst down by Pina to add a fantastic game as this Nexus will go down. Hamalei Esports force a game number three just like that. As this one looks a lot different to the first game we had in this year. Good enough. Good enough, Azir. Peanut on the pick that I, I'm now, at this point, it's probably up to, to 89, maybe 90% win rate. Yeah. Mountain also a strong, strong soul that I think you wouldn't feel bad about uh -oh. getting Peanuts. Peanuts in so much trouble. He's going to try to hop away from this one, but flash on in from Showmaker. He's got the hop here as well. And Peanut with no flash available. That will be first blood over to Showmaker and a red buff to boot alongside of this Drake. Nice setup here from Kellen as Peanut on no vision. Tries to get on into the bottom. A bit of an angle here as 
the problem is that this is still Skarner. Yeah. We'll see. Well, he's going to try to grab him through the yep. wall. Straight into the hands of the Nidalee. Is it enough? Is Doran trying to get away through the terrain? And he will for now, but it is Nidalee. Oh. And he's going to miss the spear. Seemed like a pretty free one there, but Lucid, he wants this kill, and he will pick it up with the E, just slashing ahead of him to get that kill. He was getting a little bit close there. Come alive, not even going to go for it. Instead, just opting to take down that bottom dragon Hexaxel. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That one is going to be fought over as we are simultaneously taking the Herald and also kind of maybe looking uh, for a bit of a play towards the top side. That's not going to be the case. Kellen. He's behind enemy lines, TP's coming in. Yeah, it's just going to be a straight up 5v5, but as you mentioned, Kellen is all by his lonesome, and he's got a Skarner coming over the wall. Meanwhile, the rest of the team, Pina and Delight, are just kind of hanging out, trying to threaten the smite seal, but already ready, Kellen goes down, as it will be this uh, objective going the way of DK, but Kingen goes in and kind of just sacrifices himself for the eye, which he does pick up, but it's a second kill here to the side. It's like, okay, well, that guy just hit me from across the screen. I barely even saw him, like... Even as a pro gamer, you're going to be hit by some of that stuff. So here we go. Doran being chased down by the Tristana. Rock's going to miss. He's still on the run, but the jump does come in. And now we've got Nidalee making her way over. Lucid and Showmaker putting two and two together. And they take down Doran, who said, I'm Skarner. I can do anything. But being more impactful, at least for now. You know, we saw one spear hit Doran, I think. Um, he doesn't seem to care. There's a big push in the bottom lane, but both these teams aren't going for it. Kellen's going to hook the wall, and now he's in a lot of trouble. Down he goes, flash in from Doran. Not even necessary, looking for the Impale, but now they already got one. They're looking for a second. King in he is Cassante, but he is also dead. And that is going to be two kills in favor of Homolite Esports, as we did see the Dragon also going their way. Drake going over as well. And Baron. It's the reluctance of DK there. And yeah, they had a huge wave that was pushing in towards bot side, but Showmaker should be able to catch this one on top. But they don't have any control there. I like it's this gonna go so life. quickly. Well, Kingen is gonna be here in about 15 seconds with the TP. Yeah. They just have so much burst on They're this low. Baron. The damage is insane, but it's still 5v4 in this scenario, so they can turn if they want to. But the hook comes in, and maybe it's not a good idea. Delight is going to be isolated. Now Showmaker is going to start what? up the for them. Uh, now we got a TP coming in, and now it's 5v4 in favor of DK. I don't know about Lucid tanking, though. Kellen as well, already taken low. Yeah, this is getting pretty messy. Uh, <laughs> Okay, they're going to hit the Baron again. They decide to go for a Chain of Corruption. Pain He's going Baron. to miss. He has his ult as well. This might just be a 50-50. All right, here we go. We got a Blast going as well. Not that he needs it, but it's going to be Kellen into the wall again. He goes down, and Peanut is going to be isolated by Amy, who takes him down. No jungler right now. As the damage is coming in, and DK should be able to get this done. They take down the Baron at 22 minutes. Oh, Hanwha life there. Him and Showmaker. Gonna have to do it here. Yeah, the double LDR is just gonna chew through that front line of Delight and Doran. Speaking of which, Doran TPing in onto this. The burst is going to be pretty big from the Kha'Zix on this Drake. Let's see who does get it. Yes, it will be the Kha'Zix. The chain comes down onto Kingen, but Homolife Esports not looking to try to fight this one head on. They're just gonna back away for now. And DK knows a lot of us can take down this objective really fast. And as long as we're clean with it, it's not that risky. Uh, keyword being as long as we're, we're clean with it. So let's see if DK can be clean with that as the damage they have on this Baron is pretty insane. Peanut's still nearby. They need some vision though. As he's gonna get know. it with this W, it's just gonna be a flip. Oh, and there's too late as it does go the way of the Nidalee as Kellen unfortunately <laughs> will be the food once again for Hamalife Esports, but it's a Baron doing some damage to this one, but it does look like Hamalite Esports does want to go for the 5v5 team fight. They want Doran and Delight in the front line. Look at the poke. DK. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if they can get to the dragon. Uh, it's looking pretty rough for them. I mean, they really need to deny a Hextech soul right now. They're ahead and they have Baron buff, but it doesn't seem to matter. It's still the team fight in favor of Hamalite Esports. They take down Kellen again as he will be the food once again for Hamalite Esports and now against Hextech soul. They just got a Baron, they just do anything. But Hextech Soul for, for both Lethality, Varus, and even, even for Kha'Zix, man. Like being able to... What do you mean oh. for the Skarner? <laughs> um, yeah, so Amalife Esports are going to start this. It's gone. 
And yeah, this is what I was talking about. I wasn't even sure that DK would just get it because the vision is very even. In fact, and the 280 carries just weren't there the whole time. So they were trying to turn, but there was no damage. As now the chain comes down onto King and he is Cassante, but he will have to flash away. And this Elder Drake, it is burning down. DK, you need to get into the pit. You need to do something as the hook comes in. The damage of the light is actually huge, but same up to Kellen as Impale. He's going to miss from Doran, but still Kellen goes down. And Dang. this Elder is still alive. The poke is coming in. It's a flip. The 280 carries it's a flip. It. It's the way of Lucid. He's able to take down the Elder. And with the 280 Look carries, it up and now TP into the base. Look at the base. TP into the base. It might be happening, Hummel IP Sports. They want to end this game right here, right now. Nobody come back, but there is Showmaker. Showmaker's there. Showmaker's there. He will stop it. But the Elder buff. Ooh. <laughs> OK, Lucid will survive. All right. OK. You know, the game was just really good, so uh, <laughs> no. Great job, production. Uh, love it. As now Kellen, look at this. He hits a hook. He gets the rel. And he dies. So the two supports will go down. But man, at least they're pulling the trigger. At least they're looking for these team fights. King and Showmaker. Spot here. P Pina looking for the slow. And he's going to get a huge the one. Next on onto both King and onto aiming. But the, oh, that impale was so close to aiming. Showmaker. Oh my. I don't know if they can I don't go. I don't know if they can go for Nash. Showmakers are going to try and end the game. The yeah. TP comes in. The TP. And that should be enough. <laughs> Spear not going to hit as this, this game is really, really up in the tempo here. Aiming, okay. All right, that's a lot of damage. As uh, a knock up here on Adoran. He is isolated and they do have the damage. He presses his ultimate, aiming finally does it. And they take down that damn Scorpion King as the looking to keep this Baron alive for his team. And he will. Peanut. Oh, he's, he's so dangerous at this point in time. That's Hextech as well. Uh, Peanut! Peanut is dead! What? 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 He knew they were there! He knew they were in the bush! He had his own available! And it oh. didn't matter. So now it's gonna come down to Viper. And they're gonna wait. The Hextech soul and the drain. The uh, arrow. They, they wait for not the arrow. Happening. Yeah, Kellen's there. He's able to see it. They just wait for oh. the damage. And that's it. I mean, the Baron goes down to DK. And Kellen, he finds his support opponent, but he's now alone. he's alone over the wall. This is a very awkward spot. And Doran's like, yeah, no, you, you got to get away from me. The light was also alone. And, oh, ooh, that's hurting. Ooh. That is burning down. Zekka's in a bit of trouble. That that was one spear. What? Ah, the Wait. light, the light, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Aiming, aiming, aiming's on the ward, aiming's on the ward. This is just getting, this is getting out of hand. Oh, okay. the soul. Kellen, he's going to look for the engage. He's Viper. Viper. He fights Viper. And Viper will eventually go down, but Showmaker does as well. And oh, the Zeri in the back line. Going to take down two. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. They're going to win game three. They take a huge team fight. Kellen finally finds the angle and aiming finally sends it into that back line. And they get the job done. Going to get the win here to start off the season. Wow, very, very close stuff. And it wasn't the cleanest, but it was a lot of fun, man. This was a great series to start us off. GG, DK will take the first series of LCK Summer 2024 and able to get the first series win. So they do a good job there. And the NAR comes out for the top lane. Novaris top lane. And they will have that pick. One. Spear somehow didn't hit. Looks like maybe it hit one of the little Void Club yeah, dudes. Really? Sylvie got the smite there, though. That's going to be He's feeling six. pretty good for him. Obviously not as big a spike on Nidalee as it is on some other champions, but still a level lead. Always going to feel great. Player really wants the back. Hasn't actually gotten his back in, but did TP. But even if he makes it back, as his back won't get cancelled, this should be, I think, still Nongshim having uh, being in a pretty good spot here to pick this up. Yeah. They're on even numbers, but they're 2D objective first. I don't think there's any reason to Googer? start the Googer, man, he is so clean today, and he is going to get that engage on to execute. I was going to say, I think it's pretty questionable for BNK Fear X to be in that position, and, well, it did happen. Now, Dew is alone underneath the turret. He's in a bit of trouble, but really nice flash, and now Henna going to have to flash away himself alongside of the cleanse. But it's Jin. If he lands a hit, this could be huge, but Henna. And what? Oh, the fourth shot is going to crit him down. And that'll be the solo going the way of Jiwoo. You know, because 
Dunnan had the teleport or a tempo advantage, so you can't contest that. <laughs> Take another looker. If you're already level six, might end up working out. It's really Ooh. because he had triple blight stack on top of him as well, right? So if the blight ends up hitting, if that Q hits, he's dead. And instead, nice. It's six <laughs> all of that first minion. <laughs> <laughs> They're going insane! <laughs> and I wanna, I wanna again. Let's utilize the sideline pressure of this Talia. And that one, two. Uh oh, he's Gugner. Uh oh, he's caught out here in the river. As they do utilize a alt, a wall here from closer to isolate him and take him down. There you go. Exactly what you wanna do if you are BNK. Sylvie does get them to four, which is a big break point. So he's gonna be happy with those four. Basically, ideally, you'd want it on a closer, but. I should still be able to use it uh, as uh, you. Meanwhile, oh, the clan's on the change, though. Here comes Henna. He's trying to get those stacks up, and 1Q would do it. It flashes forward just to make sure. And he will pick it up before Jiu can even respond with his own flash. And Henna will get his revenge. For Fisher. I mean, if, if they get this combo cleanly, like, Raptor can do the ult flash thing that Lucid always does. And even with Mininar, I think they've got an angle here. Yeah, I don't think it, it, it should matter. Yeah, it might not even have to flash, just gonna press R onto him. If they have the damage, yep, it will be definitely enough as the Vi and the Nar come together for a 2v1 kill under the turret. Kind of similar vibes from these guys, because we're not not a stranger to sending it either, although Execute is, is currently the king um, on this rift. We have a bit of a rotation up the river, Raptor trying to threaten this, but the wall is going to come in. He's going to go over the wall. The damage should be enough. Oh, a three-man Magnastorm does come in, and now the Jin is firing from far away, but it does not matter. Two kills now for Closer. Going to be picked up, and with the TP coming in from Claire, he doesn't do much, but does 100% secure. Gugger, though, execute. I think he has a suspicion. Yep. Oh, he susses him out. And we are going to have the wall coming out here, and Gugger is uh, not in a great spot. Happy. Raptor's just in here looking for the steal. Meanwhile, we have a TP coming in as well from the Cassante. Dindin trying to join. They want to try to burst down this dragon. The smite will go the way of the Maya's. Now Claire gets a massive Gnar into the wall. They take down the Corky. And Jiwoo's on the run. Dindin's all by himself. Sylvie's on the run. He's going to go down. They might get execute. Maybe. Yes, they do. As finally Gugger makes his way in. They want to try to take down Henna as uh, some, some Cassante things in that fight. But it's not going to matter because BNK Firex are just way too far ahead. And Jiu knows his fate is pretty much sealed. Can they get the execute? Uh, I mean, Wait. The grubs. Uh, yeah. Boomerang. Nope. Not going to happen. <laughs> execute um, does come in. It's still a complete disaster. But they didn't get this, I think, even because we expected them to be messy. But they didn't even look cohesive for most of the split. Oh, boy. And uh, that is going to be the lockdown here on a Sylvia. Now the follow-up. This is just people getting caught out over and over. BNK Firex, they will easily take that money and bring it to the bank and bring it to Baron as well. They didn't even need clear. He's just solo pushing bot. Might as well. BNK, no jungler on the enemy team. That's the freest Baron that they could go for. Some of the early laning phase looked a little bit rough. Execute just Getting caught is peak execute, but they didn't let that really get to them. Claire also wisely backing off. I'm watching because uh, Eddie's on it, and he has already played Pantheon and got his top lane Galio banned. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's challengers, baby. That is indeed. Make sure you guys are baby. watching the co-streams. They're always a lot of fun. Oh, Look at this the Hail Mary! Gugger coming in from behind, and he has a TP to help him out. A couple of TPs, actually, as Closer is in a lot of trouble, but that Zonius is going to help him out quite a bit. Can they actually get this kill? No, they cannot. It's the Gnar into the wall. It's just gigantic. And that'll be the end of this team fight. Dindin not going to beat Dinsante this time as Sylvie goes down as well. This game is over. B and K Firex absolutely turned that round, that... Uh, that fight around in a salvage, an unsalvageable game. But there's a reason why coming back from a deficit like this is so hard. Fortunately, once control was lost, BRX in, in, it really, BNK in, in uncharacteristic fashion, maybe it's the name change, right? Yeah. Ends up like way laying it out. Oh, execute, maybe dying it, that would be, no, not even. That's what I mean. Not gonna happen. What's happening here? Two's gonna go down here too. 
17 to 3. And uh, Notion, oh, he's desperate. He wants Execute to go down, but Aftershock, too good as one by one <laughs> chips fall. The dominoes being knocked over. Nomshim will not go down without a fight. Unfortunately, that's you're never going to win that fight. So anyway, the Nexus will go down. And BNK Firex will get their first win here in summer on the first game. <laughs> but not the case. And so Clear is going to be playing TF in this game. <laughs> As uh, when you pick the Renekton into this, you're not going to have a good time. Uh, especially early on. Might be setting up for a dive here. Closer is relatively low. But they don't want to risk it. Rapture also making sure. They'll get uh, spotted. Okay, they're going to try to turn on to Execute here. There's a full combo from the brand. Execute is in a bit of trouble, but he flashes in. Immediate flash out from Sylvie, but that just leaves Gugger to the Wolves. And yes, it is going to be Gugger picking up one kill. But he also gave a And I'm just here to support the whole team. As Execute is going to get caught by this full combo once again. Leona having the shield up is going to help. And now Gugger is just kind of left alone, and he dies. So they did the same thing again, except this time they didn't get a kill. And BNK Firex say thank you very much for the free kill on Henna again. I, I, I don't, <laughs> I, uh... I don't know about that one, Valdez. Well, I do. I know. I know it's not good. As uh, Fisher is jumping in, Raptor's here. He's gonna flash on into this one, and now with the Yone follow-up, it should. It should be enough. Oh. It should be enough. Wait, how did they not get the kill? As the cat's not gonna close the distance, and Fisher gets away. You gotta be kidding me! Not even close, baby. I can't believe it. You're building damage on the Maokai. You've got four damage yeah. threats here on the side of um, the NK Firex. So take a look at this. Hey, he just pops back and it's just barely not enough. Oh, what was it, boy? Make sure he Please get him, well. is what he said. Oh, you got the final. How did I not get this? Or like, oh man, I didn't get this. And well, he got it now in live. So they did it again this time with Execute. And uh, <laughs> looks like Fisher wasn't ready for the general super high value into the Leon and the Maokai and into the TF oh. as well. As Second yeah. he hops in there with no reset, it's just over for him. It he is. doesn't have flash. Nice timing by Execute. Execute actually has been engaged. Sorry to bring up a. Why would you? <laughs> you know that hurts me. It's very yeah. valid. That, that man has, uh, might have the worst Maokai in the LCK. But it seems like he's got a lot of great picks besides it. Uh, Jiu's in a bit of trouble. He's going to flash over the wall here. Meanwhile, a bit of trouble up on the top side. Clear as well, just burning down Sylvie. Nice angle. He's going to net this turret for the team as well. And that will be the first one to go down in favor of Nongshim. So they hop into the front. Just now Raptor, no flash and not a lot of health. He's just going to burn down as well. Here comes Closer and the gang, but... They don't quite have the numbers advantage, and also just a bonus kill on top. About to be an honorable, an honorable battle. And closer, you know, he's he's a mid laner, but he he's <laughs> he's got the vibes of a top laner. I understand why Dundan yeah. thought they were going to be fighting. Oh, they're just getting in there. As now we do have Sylvie caught out, a hundred to zero. No time to breathe at all. Scuttle, spotting him there. Because the warden yes. was also getting chipped down. Yes. Oh, 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 no, Shim. No 22 Wait. minutes in, and they have, they have Tristana with two items and they have Brand. Yeah. I mean, this is going to go down so fast, and you see that BNK Firex are totally out of position. Now, Closer might just try to send it in here, or maybe oh. they look for a fight afterwards, but this Baron is 100% no shims, and so the lineup. Oh, no, as he misses. How does he miss in the Vormi Well, it doesn't matter, though, as BNK Firex still able to pick up a bunch after this one. They're going to pick up Cougar as well, make it Sylvie for a third kill. The Baron does go the way of Nongshim, but at least a bunch of kills go to the NK Firex. Didn't actually get the Dragon, which is huge, because getting soul points. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, well, the knockout's going to miss, but the ult does land, and now the stun immediately comes in onto Closer, who is burning down, and Raptor's like, hey, man, let's send it. I love this. Uh, but he's not going to love going down, as that is going to be a kill here to Nongshim. Very 
like, you gotta know your spot. I'm seriously on the reconsidering my ranking of Lucid's Maokai by the way. I was putting it out oh, there. Look at this. Uh, Henna just sending it into there, and he is going to pick up the kill, but immediately goes down. Clear. Looking for Dundon, who is getting chipped very, very low. The Q comes in, and now Clear is 1v4. And, oh, that was close. But he is not going to get the kill. And he does get taken out. This game has so, well and truly gone off the rails. <laughs> Potential. Wait, Uno Reverso? Are they just... Mm, yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, just do the same thing. <laughs> they will never see it coming. Just do the Baron. I mean, there's already pings coming in. They know. If Kaisa. Look at the damage. Gone. This is insane. If Kaisa. Yeah, where's the jungler? Wait, Sylvie's like, oh, I, 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 I did not get the memo. And Gugger, he's gonna get the memo. He's getting on in there. They are able to lock down clear. He is dead. Meanwhile, the turnaround, but Dundon just survives for so long. Finally, does go down, and Sylvie, look at the damage he's getting in the backline, immediately gets assassinated, though. Meanwhile, Closer trying to go in a 1v3, and he is not going to win that one. And Gnome Sim will basically wipe the majority of this team. It's a very similar it's opposite situation play. that we had earlier on. It's the same play. It's yeah. But I will take as many people as I can with me, I think is a great way. And if you get if you get an infernal. Oh, they found him. He does have the arm guard, but still in a bit of trouble. He's doing insane damage here though. His head is gonna go down, and the overextension comes out from VK Purex closer. Also trying to send it, also trying to take down Jiwu. As Dundin comes in, Raptor trying to peel here to get Closer away, but there's a giant crocodile on top of him, and he will take down Closer. Nongshim, they fight in the fight in their own jungle. The negative Red Bull Baron power play in lane. Ferex. Oh, Death Timers. Oh, I got 40 seconds on Closer. I don't, I don't think they're making it. We are going to a game of number three. And BNK, the first game clean, calculated. Game two, they got messy. They and got real messy. Out on top. It got so messy. And Nungsim, that is their comfort zone. It's I'm also, excited to see Fisher playing way, though. I, I had a great joke about it's also Solka time in the LCS because Quad got promoted. Yeah. It's a pump that's really hard to engage on with really good poke. Alistair by uh -oh. himself. Level six by. Oh, Fisher. Oh, he's in so much trouble. That's the combo, and that is a dead way on your screen. Doesn't even bother to flash. It's just first blood here for Closer. He was putting so much pressure on, and Raptor, he just waited, waited, waited. Hit level six, shows up, and it's a kill. Sylvie, I think, was doing right in here with this team, but uh, Gugger's going to get knocked over the wall. Nice flash here from Closer. As dude tries to set that one up. Execute, meanwhile, he's like, 1v4, no problem. I'm getting in there. And he is going to go on to Gugger, but now Closer, no flash, and they're just trying to turn off to him. And now Gugger's going to be in a rough spot himself, but Closer does go down first and execute on the flash away, and he's taking so much damage. They're tanking the turret. Please get the kill. That they will, and Sylvie just barely survives. Meanwhile, Dindon's watching all that, and he's like, I got to fight too. Doesn't amount to too much, but no shim. Nice little dealing with top lane situations. Fisher just being way, pushing really fast. Uh, meanwhile, Raptor is going to go for <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> as oh, the lockdown's going to come in here. Closer in a bit of trouble, although they turn it onto Fisher. As an ult is going to be thrown into Closer, and he gets sniped from downtown. They throw in the damage, and now taking up the turn again here is Sylvia. No, shit, man. They're making these plays happen. Donna and Quay. I remember as a Kali from Challengers, and Tris said, Quay have looked good so far as a... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Maybe a bit of cast occurs here. Yeah, this is a bit of, I'm really fed. I want to, you know, push my lead as much as possible. And he's just a bit too far. Although, I mean, he is delaying this pretty nicely, but eventually he will yes. be taken down. Gives that money over to the Cassante. As well. Scuffle. It was really just Cougar taking the beat down. But it's fine. End up being a problem. As we see Claire has gone for a very aggressive uh, build as um, we're, we're diving Cassante. Diving Cassante. I mean, it is three guys and they have ults to come in and they are able to put two and two together. The CC chain is great and they take down Clear. And it will make quick work of them. Very decisive. Pick up a bunch of these Ocean Drakes here, especially with Renekton, Sejuani, and Alistair. But trying to set up for this one, it does look like BNK Phoenix do not want to sh uh, back away from this fight. As Jiu, he has to flash away, and he 
doesn't have much health here, and the pity's going to be taken down immediately. And that is the AD carry gone already. Raptor is taking a huge beating in the pit himself, but he's pretty far ahead here on this fly. And now Dundin surviving for so long. And the Cassante just going to thrive in positions like this. Execute, you are an absolute madman, but it is beautiful behind the pit here. He sets up the extra kills onto everybody else on the side of Gnome Sim. Even the kill going on to Sejuani. Lots of low health bars, but a massive win for BNK VRX. <laughs> because that means they get the Ocean Soul points. ...of the current mental state, the, the map control, you can see that it is a big step forward for the side of BNK as execute. Once again, oh, that's going to feel nice. They're going to get this lockdown now onto the way, who has no way to get out of this one. Massive knockout comes in from the Talia, but... Is anybody actually going to die in this fight? Okay, finally it happens, but the Jin goes down. Fisher and Guga are so low, and the rest of the team is just not able to follow up on that either. Continuous knockups coming out from the Talia, the Cassante, over and over again. And it's another fight win here for BNK Firex. It's a it really does feel like, uh, you know, there there have been some big ups and downs. I think Nongshim looked great at the beginning of this game, but now BNK are in total control of this one as now Raptor. trying to set up the play. Raptor is in so much trouble. Gonna try to lock down Jiu, but there's no follow-up to take down the Varus. Finally, the Kasate does get in there and pulls him back, but still is going to be a lead currently to the side of Nongshim, but not so much in terms of health bars. His clothes are looking for more. He wants Guger, gets the knockup, gets the stun, and there's the fourth shot to take down the Alistair, making it an even trade right before this Ocean Drake comes up. But BNK in a pretty good spot to take it down. Let's see if Nongshin want to fight for it. It doesn't get to play the game. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. Oh, he's just going to get flash seismic shoved. And that's going to be the end of the way in the mid lane. That's going to be such a big win here. These fights are so messy. And for BNK, a Cassante with unending despair. And a solo queue when you're playing Talia. Yeah, but it just pays off in huge dividends if you hit it, and it's risky, but it works. Everybody's grouped up here against the Wei damage, but there's not many members of Nongshin besides this. Execute might die, but to be honest, that happens a decent amount regardless. And um, yeah, they're just going to get that pick. I love the way that Raptor plays this. He, he's not like farming his jungle or doing anything. He's always in position to support whoever needs it in terms of kill pressure. Uh, just hiding around lack of vision. Now, the rest of the team is getting engaged upon, as I say this. Guger is getting on in there. This is a 5v3 right now, as Execute is in a lot of trouble. They can't get the kill onto him anyway, as in goes Raptor. Way into that backline, Fisher in a bit of trouble, but the peel does come through from Dundon, trying his best to flash over the wall. And now the Jin ultimate is going to be pulled out. And Sylvie with a threat thread in him as Raptor goes back in. Dundin is solo and finally does get taken down. Not the cleanest fight, but still BNK will be happy with the way that this one is going. As they take out the top laner, they're looking for more. Guger is all by himself, and I yeah, I think he's just dead. Oh no, Chiwoo. Oh, he knows. Clear tried to sell it, but it's not, it's not gonna happen. Oh! Yeah, unfortunately, there's still a warden there, so... Okay, but is he just trying to wait and, and, and just wait until... Nah, he's just going to wait until he walks away so he can't fly a blast over the wall. That's going to be the end of Jiwoo. And now they feel safe to take the Baron. Sylvie, this is your moment. All <laughs> or nothing, no vision, just, just instinct. The eye of the tiger. You have to. It's the only way you just keep send the team it. in this game. He doesn't have any, okay. It's gonna be a little bit of vision, but that might just <laughs> be, that Fisher does go down and Sylvie's like, I've gotta try. I gotta get into the pit. I gotta do something, but he's just dead. And uh, they're gonna stop all DPS. He is surviving for quite a long time, but uh, yeah, nice stoppage of DPS there from the side of BNK. They could have gotten to see if they can, but the wave clear is pretty good right now from the side of BNK Firax. Closer also just, Holding the door here, gonna force that ult out of Guger. Meanwhile, Clear has found the back line himself. Onto Fisher, and he is gonna all out into that one. And Fisher just has no help. Nobody to peel this Cassante off of him. Same for Jiwu as he is going to go down. Dindin as well. And that might just do it. Big smile on the face of Execute as BNK take another big fight and look to push to ends. Don't even need that elder. 
Well, that's Ocean Soul, the health bars. Still full. It was a back and forth. But BNK, VRX with some of their sponsor CEOs here. I'm gonna be feeling great about this victory. Big win for them. Big grin. Yeah, Milo there they are. Closer. Stayed until the very end, until the wee hours of the night. These were some of the best highlights from the 2024 LCK Summer Split matchups of the day. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.